Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a video on creating a simple bearing pictured here using the web-based BlocksCAD tool. So to start out I have the entire diagram, diagram drawn here so you could either pause and just recreate this or I will be doing a step-by-step -step recreation of this drawing. So to start out I'm going to new this and get rid of the existing. And this, um, to aid in dimensioning the races, the outer race and the inner race, um, I use 2D shapes. So I start out with uh, two squares, and these two squares will be the inner and outer race. Uh, I, to start, I leave these at uh, 10, 10 by 10 squares, and later on, this will be reduced to match these, the height of the ball. Uh, so we can just render that. And you'll see nothing special there, just two centers, uh, two squares centered. So the first thing we're gonna need to do is move them out to the position um, at which they're, they're going to be uh, distant from the center for their, for their rotation. So the inner race is gonna be centered at at 10 and the outer race is going to be centered at 20 so let's render that and you'll see what the difference there okay so now we have two squares even though it looks like one we have two and they're just buttresses buttressed against each other but we don't what we don't have is um, I want them to be centered on 10 and centered on 20 right now it's they're not centered it's the origin is at 10 and this origin is at 20 so we're going to change these to centered and I'll just do one at a time so you can see the difference so you see now that the center of this is at the at x10 y0 so let's center this one as well and then it'll, it'll return to looking like one block okay so now that's what's that's um, what we're going to rotate around the axis in a, in a few minutes but first we need to to chop out where the ball bearing is going to is going to set and we're going to do that by adding a, a circle shape. So we're going to add a circle, and its radius is going to be uh, five. <clears throat> so it's we're um, okay, and that circle is going to need to sit right in between these two because we're going to be subtracting it from this square and then from this square. So we're going to do a translate for that as well, and that translate is going to uh, place the center of the circle at x15. So you can see how he just changed those variables. Um, I won't draw that because you won't be able to see it. And we're gonna be differencing, so differencing this, this circle from this square. So let's do, a, we're gonna go into a transform. Or I'm sorry, we're gonna do a, I think it's an option. Yeah, difference, so we're gonna do a difference. So this is the object that we're going to be subtracting this object from. So let's uh, I, let's render that to see what it looks like. And you can see a couple of things is one, we need a, a round circle, not a uh, octagonal circle. Um, I actually, I think that's just that we need to set that to medium. So now let's look at that again. Okay, so that's fine. Um, you'll notice that it's only subtracted from the one square because that's the way the difference works. If I try to put this, if I try to add this into the minus, uh, it will just subtract the square. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this circle and I'm going to duplicate this difference. No, I don't want to do that. Let's get rid of that. Let's just add another difference just to make it easy. Okay. So that's the object we're gonna be subtracting from, and then this is the object we're gonna be subtracting. And let's render that and see what they look like. Okay, so we have our we have our two shapes. We have our inner race, and we have our outer race, and we need to uh, change this so that the races aren't connected. Okay, so what we're gonna to do to, to separate these two and to later on match the height of the ball bearing is we're gonna move the Y the Y size of the square to, of both squares to nine. So let's render that and you'll see that it's now we have two separate race rate 
raceways. Now, if this doesn't quite make what sense what we're doing, um, it will in this next step. Uh, in the next step, we're going to be, let's see, make sure I got everything done here. We're gonna be doing the rendering or the rotating of, of this object. So this is the uh, sort of like a draft blueprint for what, what's gonna be rotated around the z-axis. So let's go ahead and do that now. So to rot what we're gonna be doing is called rotate extrude. And I think that's a transform. I can't remember these things, yep. So rotate extrude. And we're, we're gonna make it 50 so it looks nice and, or let's try 25 so we split the difference between fast and pretty. So we're gonna rot rotate extrude that and we're gonna rotate to extrude this. So the way the rotate extrude works is it takes whatever object is in the extrusion here um, and it rotates it around the Z, but what it's gonna do is it's gonna flip this up on its edge and rotate around it, around its Z. So if you, if you take this and rotate it 90 degrees on this edge and then rotate it around. So let's render that so you can understand what's happening. So it just takes a second so you can see what happens. So now this is, if you look, if you looked on edge, you'd see the shape that we had before and now it's rotated around the Z axis. So that's what rotate extrude does. Um, so now the only thing we have left is to add our ball bearings. So we're gonna, we're gonna do that with a 3D shape just to make it a little bit easier. And it's gonna be a sphere. And and we're gonna, it's gonna be a radius of 4.5, so that'll make it the exact same height as our races. And that's just to aid in printing later on. So let's render our sphere, and you'll see that it's in the wrong position when it renders. It's in the middle, that, that doesn't help us at all. So we need to put it in the same, in the same um, diameter as the race, and that was, that's listed, uh, that's in, uh, the, the translation of this circle here, that's at 15, so we're gonna put, the center of the sphere at 15 and render that so you can see so now that now is this now the sphere is where we want it so the next thing we need, need to do is copy the number of spheres so what we want to do is um, we're going to copy them around the z-axis so we need to do two things we need to as we copy we need to uh, make a copy, rotate around the, the z-axis, create another one, rotate, create another one, so, and so on, so on, until we're finished. Um, so what we need to do is we need to start with a rotate transformation. Not, to, and this is different from the rotate extrude because this will just rotate the the object, and that doesn't do anything for us except if you put in if you put in an angle here, and I'm going to put in 36. I don't know, that'll be, we'll explain that in just a second. So that's gonna be, and I, cause I want, basically I want 10, 10 balls. And if you divide 360 by 10, you get 36. So you see our, our object has rotated around the Z axis to this position. Um, but that doesn't help us at all cause that only gives us one. So what we, we're gonna do is we're gonna add a loop and we're gonna place this block in that loop and we're going to count from 1 to 10 because we want 10, 10 bearings or 10 balls in the, in the bearing. Um, and, and all this can just stay as is. But we're going to use this eye to, to calculate our angle. So our angle is going to increase by 36 each time. But it's going to be times I. So we're going to need math. And it's, so we're going to take this object right here. And we need to use the variable I. So it's, it's whatever iteration of the loop we're in. So the second time through it's I and it's gonna be times and it's gonna be um, 36 here. So the first time through it'll be one times 36 and that's that position. The second time through it'll be two times 36 and that's gonna be this position, 72. Three times 36 and so on and it'll move, it'll move that, the, copies of the ball all, all the way around. Let's just drop drop this whole block in place of this 36 and then render. And you'll see our nearly complete ball bearing. There it is. Okay. And the one thing I want to check is because we're going to do this, we want a printable one. So we want the 
top of the ball to be on the same level as as the uh, raceway and we can see that it is so that that's good to go so this is not going to be chamfered or anything this is going to be a very simple bearing for you to print um, and that's that's the extent of the bearing so let's let's clean this up a little bit so it looks so it's more more smooth for the print let's make it 50 sides we'll render that and this is all running on my on my local machine uh, this is a locally installed copy of blocks CAD I have another um, another video where you can see that so that's complete and that that should be good enough for uh, for printing we could you know we could do it a little hot maybe let's do it at 100 what the heck I'll pause the video while it renders and do it at 100. And that's it. So you can see we got the exact same result, but just by unioning the two squares before we subtracted out the circle. Um, it's and you know, so you could use either method; they're both legitimate. So that's it for for this lesson. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like my videos, please subscribe, share these with other people you might think might like to learn this, and um, have a great day. Thanks.